This video is brought to you by Miniature Market. Thousands of board games, miniatures, and paints, discount prices at miniaturemarket.com. Hello everybody, it's your old pal Rob. Now today we are going to be talking about probably one of the best dungeon crawls out there today. Um, it's got a Kickstarter coming up. Yeah, you got it. Uh, I believe August 8th on, I believe it's GameFound. Uh, everybody seems to be going to GameFound. Um, but, you know, if, if, if you know this game, uh, you know how great it is, and now you're going to add even more, well... Without further ado, folks, let's go down to the table and take a look at League of Dungeoneers expansion, The False Prophet. We're going to take a look at this. This is coming soon, and boy, you're going to want this. Let's go down to the table. I'm not going to explain everything, but we are going to, you know, and this isn't going to be some kind of unboxing, but I want to talk about some of the high points here and uh, kind of really get you pumped up for, for this because you're going to need it. And if you don't have the base came by now, get, get involved in this Kickstarter. All right. Or game found or fundraiser, whatever you want to call it. Let's go down and check it out. So I really kind of want to just showcase this, uh, show you, you know, some of the stuff that comes in here and everything like that. Uh, the, this is all prototype material, but as usual, it's done to perfection. Okay. Um, you know, of course, we're going to have new cards with new weapons and stuff like that, and new figures. Um, the knight here just is really, really cool. Uh, I really, I really, this may be one of my favorite, favorite characters um, that that they've done. But, you know, uh, druids, um, of course, you know, magic users, you know, just more different variances. Um, these, these sheets are great, and, and you're going to make a ton of things. Your rule book, it's, it's going to break down everything that's going to be different in here. Um, there are, I'm going to go right here, okay, and kind of talk about some of this stuff because we're going to be doing a playthrough of this. And like I said, I don't want to spoil anything for anybody, but there are some things here that are really going to, there's going to be some new components in here uh, that's going to add to this game. And you know how deep this game is. Instead of using the charts, you're going to be using legendary item cards, which really, really helps you a, a, a lot. Uh, there is a legendary item booklet, okay? Um, there are beast form cards. So as things uh, transform into certain things, you're going to have a beast form card, which is which is really cool. Uh, dungeons events, which are really cool, and the black and white art really has a nice throwback to it. We'll show you in a bit. Squires, okay, squire cards, uh, node tokens, uh, exploration uh, uh, tiles. There's going to be different tiles because there's going to be mines involved and stuff like that. Um, Tell you can, now the best thing about this is, of course, you're going to have Quest Book Three. But the thing that really brings this in is that you could take pieces of this. You don't have to take it all in and use it all. Okay, um, there's new treasure cards, wonderful treasure rackins like we talked about. But um, the thing is, is that you don't have to use everything. You can use pieces of it, or you can just add it all in together. Uh, horses and mules in combat. Uh, that's going to be a little different. Wagons. Uh, riding a horse into battle. <laughs> you know, let, let's let's talk about it. Um, and now characters. There's a whole bunch of new rules uh, going towards uh, characters. Dwarves now have different classes of dwarves. Okay, which I think is just glorious. Okay, and, and there's a lot of upgrades here that you can use or choose not to use. And, and that's one of the beauties of this. And the dwarves, you know, there's a ton of background. There's different clans now to these guys. Okay, so that really beasts up the dwarf. If you are a big dwarf guy, uh, now you can really customize them a certain way. And then all the characters are going to have speciali specializations. Uh, to them that are going to enhance them and, and and give you different bonuses and so forth and so on So again, just taking this great game and making it even more deep uh, 
charts, which you're not worried about. The Quest book here. Okay, so this thing, I started going through a little bit, and I'm going to tell you right now. Uh, you can start generating your own quests and, and things like that. And I, I don't want to ruin anything in here, but, you know, I went in here a little bit and did a little dancing around, and I'm going to tell you right now. Uh, what I'm trying to do is find the right thing to showcase this game without spoiling too much. So, um, Quest Book 3. Um, we're going to get tiles, okay? Uh, Double-sided as always, all right? You know, for all our battles and so forth and so on. Uh, we're going to get some different tokens and stuff like that. As you can see, the stuff just comes out so much easier. Uh, wagons and stuff like that and, and different traps and dungeons. Uh, here's some of the... Uh, uh, Rakkin ogres that you're going to be seeing and one of the best things is is you don't mind playing with standees I really don't and I love I love this the horse where you could just put the dude right on it right okay so a human knight all right all right girl let's go then then it then it then it then it gotta love it gotta love it all right here we go uh, our our map of course okay you know we gotta we we've gotta you know dance all over this place and there's gonna be more things going on here than you need to know. That's for sure. Beautiful as always. All right. Well, I mean, what more can you say? What Michael has done here? Um, see, I've already started dancing around a lot of this stuff. And look at this. All right, mines, mines, and gold, and all different types of tiles that we're gonna have. Here's our legendary book that we were talking about. Oops, let me just get that. Uh, there's some legendary items with all kinds of backgrounds for all of it. I mean, just, I want that hammer. I want that hammer. I want that hammer. Our cards, okay? Uh, our legendary item cards, okay? Which makes a big difference instead of cross-referencing -refer things and stuff like that. Event cards, remember when I told you, those dungeon event cards and stuff like that. Oversized and beautiful. I'm trying, you know, I'm trying to do this as quick as possible without killing you guys. Okay, and there's a ton of these in here, as you can see. And I don't want to ruin anything, but uh, just, it's just smart. It's just smart stuff. And a ton of different dungeon tiles, okay? Because we're going to be, we're going to be traversing through these mines and these dungeons and doing all kinds of different exploration and I can't wait I can't wait to show you this uh, you know I, I've spent a good part of the couple, last couple days going through this and this has been my complete obsession again uh, more characters okay human knights okay ogres uh, Rakin assassins I want to show you this one one um, uh, uh, shroom queen all right I mean, the Mushroom king, Queen, all right? You know she's going to play a major part in this somehow, some way, right? Right? Okay. Uh, we're not going to go into those. Uh, there's so many event cards. So, so many event cards. And it's just, you know, again, this is what Mike does, all right? He is, is, is a genius, and I just don't... Listen, everybody... I mean, this guy's working a full-time job, okay, and doing this as well. And I really, really hope that you guys will back this up because this, to me, is one of the greatest dungeon crawls out there, all right? I mean, he, he takes a little bit of that old school stuff, adds a new twist to it, and it's it's just absolutely glorious. There's tons of tiles, uh, different event cards, of course, exploration cards. We've been through those. Um, mundane treasure or m more added to that uh, don't forget our travel and wilderness we're going to have more of those as, as we're going through okay and just ton wonderful treasure all right let's see uh, I, I found some wonderful treasure and it is a prosthetic leg how cool is that I have a prosthetic leg and and well you know I'm going to need it. Why would I need a prosthetic leg? Well, let me tell you something even farther that this does. Okay? There is a way that you can end up with wounds that last for a while. Okay? So you can take an injury 
and it can last a whole bunch of adventures or be it a permanent fixture to you. So you really have to watch what goes on here and be very, very, very smart in your decisions and not go in there just swinging like a madman sometimes because you can end up, and one of the things, the newer things is, is these permanent injuries, okay? Maybe you lose a leg, okay? But boom, I found a prosthetic leg and that can help and help make me whole again, okay? Tons of legendary items. I mean, gee whiz, this is just, just, it's overwhelming, but it's also a level of just complete greatness. Now, I didn't show you everything that comes in this box, and there's there's even more, okay? You know, just tons and tons of just fantastic tiles, lava, and things like that. And I mean, I could just stand here for hours, but I don't want to slow you down. I want you to go out, and I want you to get ready. We are going to do some playthrough of this, all right? And it's going to be very, very, very soon. I want you to get excited about this because I'm telling you right now, when we're done, you're going to think this is one of the best dungeon crawls ever. And this just enhances this fantastic game even more. Let's go up top, get my final thoughts. Now, what I love about this is there's, there's, no, there's no stopping this guy from his imagination. You thought, okay, one shot Johnny, you know, uh, comes out with, with a great game. But now he's just adding more depth, okay? And this is why, again, August 8th, you're going to want to get involved with this. Um, legendary items on cards, which I think is huge. Beast form cards. So, you know, you you know, you have a rat and then all of a sudden it turns into a, a rat kin. Um, uh, the clans for dwarves now. Dwarves have clans, which I think is fantastic. Dungeon event cards, which I think is huge. Squire cards. Um... What did I miss anything? Let me go in here and take a look. We talked about the Ratkins, uh, some of that stuff. Uh, Quest Book Three again. I didn't, you know, I went through it a little bit. I did not want to to overdo it, when, you know, and 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 spoil it for myself because my plan is is simple. Okay, uh, before this goes up on on um, the fundraiser starts on August eighth, we are going to give this a, a bit of a run through. I have to kind of plan because I don't want to spoil too much for everybody. But I want to show you how this kind of changes and everything like that. The tiles that are involved now. And, 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 and kind of get a good mixture and just find what I can find that would be something that showcases it real well. And puts you guys where you need to be to make a smart decision. So, uh, League of Dungeoneers, The False Prophet coming up. Uh, Playthrough before... Um, before the game found, uh, it's a very busy time of the year for me. So, uh, I will get it in before the 8th. Um, so I want to, I want to make sure that you were aware of this and, uh, talk about some of the things that you can look forward to it. So you make a smart decision. Uh, until next time, it's your old pal Rob. We'll see you soon, everybody.